Okay, with this simple diagram, I want to try to explain uh, what's going on with our files and our blogs and, and where we're working. We have Niche Profit Classroom, the area that we, is the online program that we do much of our work with. And in fact, we have built our first, or all our blogs, our WordPress blogs, and the WordPress blogs contain articles, opt-in pages, and, and everything that you've been taught to have. And there's some special editing that needs to be done in order for the WordPress blog to be complete. And that is the sales page. We need to have a, a separate sales page that's going to sell our book. And then we need to have a download page and any images. Those will have to be uploaded separately from our desktop uh, directly to our server or hosting. We create the uh, sales page, the thank you page, download page, all the extra pages in Niche Profit Classroom and we can take and download those to our desktop. So well, let's say we have a sales page here so through the bucket system on uh, our niche profit classroom site we build the sales pages and uh, thank you pages and we take them and send them to our our download page however oftentimes we find that we need to do some additional editing on these uh, sales pages and it's a lot easier to use an editor rather than trying to do it on cpanel i recommend something called composer so what we're going to do is take our sales letter put it in composer to the edits that we need and then through an FTP program we take and put this sales letter on our server and we'll have the download page and we'll have probably have some images so the FTP part of it is another program and it's called FileZilla. And both of these programs, FileZilla and Composer, are free. And uh, Composer, once again, is a website editor, web page editor. Uh, you create your pages, and then by via FileZilla, we send that page up to your up to your uh, uh, WordPress blog site. So on your WordPress blog you have the uh, nav column on this side and then there's a picture of the book and it says read further that's going to be the link that links directly to the sales page the sales page will have links to purchase which will uh, that, that will go to your payment processor QuickBank or PayPal and uh, after that's made it goes to the download page and on the download page it has links in which you're going to store your books and bonuses um, which once again are all uploaded by the FTP program. I hope I've made that clear enough. First thing we're going to take a look at will be taking the sales page out of a bucket, downloading it to the uh, desktop and uh, doing some quick edits in FileZilla. I'm sorry, in Composer. Okay, we use the uh, sales page in Wizard to um, create our, our sales letter. And we don't need to look at it right now. We're in our bucket, actually. And what we're going to do is um, simply download it. All we need to do is click the uh, sales page, download sales page letter. and it will be on my computer. I'm going to open that. And we have the index file or some images and a CSS file and these were all created by the um, sales letter wizard. So the next thing we need to do is get this file into Composer and um, do some quick edits. 
I've got Composer running, and I'm going to go to File and Open File. Once I find my file, this is going to be the file I want to edit. I just click on it, open, and I find it right here. You'll see there's a number of different views. This is the normal view. Um, this is for HTML tags. And these are the tags that were developed, like the div tag, the heading tag, H2, the body tag. This is the HTML source code if you know how to work with that. And you will need to. And this is the pre for the changes. So let's say on this site, first thing I want to do is change the color of my heading. And I just simply go up here, the color, and let's say I chose that color. Okay my color has changed. Okay these are customized um, header images and we can see that it, this one is squashed down so we want to do some work. Double click on that and um, we can, let's go up to dimensions. It's the, We know the image is 777 by 186. We need to change this up here to 186. Okay, and let's see. Anything else we can do? Um, we should put alternative text means an alt tag, and if we do something like this and say um, or garden tricks. Okay, our you can see our header has um, jumped up and it's looking a lot better. Okay, we can open this up a little bit. We can close this site manager. If you ever wanted it back, go to view. Um, it'll show you the site manager. It's just for multiple pages. Okay, <clears throat> we're looking at our site. Now, let's say um, we want to do some more some of these lines were canned lines from the uh, sales letter wizard. So let's say we didn't like this. It's amazing. We can say this is the best. Okay, it just it's just like typing in a word document. That's all you have to do. Okay, the other thing would be putting links in. Okay, this is your order link. You really should know how to get into the HTML tags. Oops, I'm sorry. And know how to make a, a hyperlink. But let's take a look and see how you would do it in an easier way. So we want to make this a hyperlink. Right click, come down to um, link properties. You should be able to see that. And now we have some options. This is the link text that we're working with. The link location, enter a web page location, a local file, an email address, or select a named anchor or heading um, from the pop-up list. That would be right here. Um, if you wanted to uh, put an email address, you would click this link. If the URL is relative to the page location, um, you would want that. We're not. We're going to unclick that, and what we're going to do is, I'm going to put in a link HTTP colon google.com. So, and we can tell the tell it to be opened in a new window. So that's really all there is. Not so. What you would put here would be your um, PayPal link or your ClickBank um, sales link. Click OK. Now we have a link. So if we go to preview, this becomes our link. You can 
you can remove things in this case if we wanted to remove this box right click go down to delete and it takes it away we'll do another one um, delete and you only have one left so there's some things you can do in tags for instance uh, if you wanted to get rid of this paragraph uh, you could delete and the paragraph is gone backspace and it moves this up one there's a lot you can do you'll just have to play around to, to figure it out one thing you might want to do is change this background because this is linked to a CSS file we have to uh, open up the CSS file let's see if we can do that in this editor open file No, oh, it won't let us open up. So let's open this CSS file. Open with. And we can see that the body color, the background color for the body is this blue number. If we don't like it, um, I don't have a number, but sometimes you can just type in the color. So let's um, try dark green. Save. Let's view this. Let's go in preview. Let's hit F5 and see if it refreshes that way. Okay. So there we go. Change the background to green. And let's take a look at that link that we did. I linked it to Google and Google comes up. So that's how you use Composer. It's really very simple and it's, it's intuitive and I would recommend playing with a sample first and then work on your page. So we would want to close this out. Make sure that we, also, we already saved this. So um, we are pretty much done. Uh, let's look at this one more time and I know the changes will show up. Open file, index, open. There we go. It's got the green background, red letter, kind of matches the site better. Once again there's the link.